Hi, this video will show you how to do figure rotations on a TI-84 Color and TI-84 Color CE. Questions like this below, rotating a triangle, it can do that and much more and it's easy to use. First you will need this free program called Rotate. To load the program on your calculator, you will only need a USB cable and a computer. You can find it at andyborn.com math. See the description for the link. I also have a video that shows you how to do that. Let's start with a typical question. You're given some polygon and asked to rotate it. When you run the program, you'll be prompted to enter a shape. We're entering a triangle with three points, so we will answer three, and then the XY values for those points. The only tricky part is entering them without using a comma. You see, you have to input them by separate values. Once you have the image entered, you will cycle back to this menu. You can look at the coordinates that you just entered by choosing one, and you'll notice that the pre-image and image are identical because you haven't done any rotation yet. Uh, you can also view the graph, which will show you the shape, and you'll see the message no rotation because we haven't done one yet. All right, let's do a rotation. Select three, and you can pick the common ones, one, two, or three. We'll go with a 90 degree rotation. And this asks you what point to rotate it about. By uh, default, many of these questions are about the origin, so we will put in zero, zero. There it goes, and now we can view the coordinates of the rotated image. And we can also view the graph of the rotated image. Notice the small green dot to help you see where the point of rotation was. With the same pre-image, we can do other rotations without the need to enter a new shape. Let's look at a 270 degree rotation about the origin. We'll go to 270, we'll go about the origin again, and here is the graph. We can also look at the coordinates. Our second example will show off some cool features that will save you hours of time. Let's look at rotating an irregular octagon 70 degrees about a fixed point that isn't the origin. This is another feature of the rotate program, entering the points into list 1 and list 2. So here I am entering the last uh, coordinates of the octagon and we go to quit and then program run the rotate program and here I'm going to use option 2 use list 1 and list 2 okay and I'm ready the data is in there and it put in all the coordinates let's see the graph just to make sure it's there okay looks like it's in so now we can do a rotation and this time we're going to choose other and we're going to rotate it 70 degrees about coordinate 3, 1. And let's have a look at the graph. Once again, you see the small little green marking here indicating that's the point of rotation. Uh, knowing what these points are in the image can be a little tough. So here, let's take a look at the coordinates. I've rounded it to three decimals but here we can see all of them. When you quit the program, it will reset the graph. Thanks a lot for watching. Hit the like button or leave a comment.